well, next door to the uh, Golf GTI, we've got a resplendent red MG. Uh, I believe it's an L1 Magna from 1933. So, uh, pretty nice looking car. We've got the owner, Chris, here, who's going to talk to us about it. Hi, Chris. Hello, good afternoon. Hi. Uh, and, um, well, tell us a bit about the car. Um, I've owned it for about 16 years. It came in uh, boxes. Um, it's been a labour of love. Uh, what you see is, is how it's ended up. Um, it's, uh, I call it my COVID car because I finished it during COVID when I retired right. and uh, been using it ever since. Um, it's um, 90 years old in July. Um, I met the previous owner's brother who gave me some of the history. Uh, one stage in its life it had a Ford engine put in it because the MG engine had blown. Um, right, and, and okay. I got the car with the original MG engine, which is back in it now. Um, so this was in one of the boxes that you got? No, he, he, he actually rebuilt the engine, the oh, previous owner, right, but, okay. but it was left outside, so I had yeah. to do it again because it had taken some water down the carburetors and stuff. So mm -hmm. it, was, it was a start again job, really. There was no Goodness. body with it when I got it. Um, local guy built the body for it. Um, oh, right, okay. So the, the whole of the body then is, is, is newly fabricated? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, relatively yeah. new, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah, it's it, every component on the car has been the part recondition put back together again because it needed yeah. it. Um, and now it's just a question of uh, keeping it together. It's, yeah. it's um, uh, the rear springs uh, sagged last year, so I had to have the rear springs off again and get them retempered. There is always something that you can do to improve it, and it's ongoing, really. I think there always is with this sort of car. Absolutely, anyway, so there's yeah. always something yeah, you yeah. to fiddle with, really. Yeah, and, and, but, I'm, and I'm a fiddler, so it's a good job yeah. I am. <laughs> I mean, how many years has it taken you to get it to this I've, I, state? I owned it about um, 16 years before Six, I put it on the road, but right. I had a business and a family and partners. So it wasn't and a full-time Absolutely sort of not, no. It, 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 get, it get now got, and then. got put back on a, on a rear shelf all the time because of other, other things, other projects. And that's what, as I say, COVID was a blessing to it, really, because I had every day to, to go out in the garage and finish it off. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing was that that the daughter of the guy that owned it she was getting married and she wanted to go to church in it so that gave me a, a time element to aim for so we achieved that so yeah it was a it was a blessing in disguise really yeah it was handy for projects like this wasn't it yeah that covid period yeah it was yeah yeah be nice to extend it wouldn't it really? well in some <laughs> respects but yeah we wouldn't be here probably if it was extended no, no, so. you're, you're probably right there yeah. but yeah it was a, a nice opportunity to get Definitely, projects like yeah. this done wasn't it definitely so, um, just sort of walking around, have yeah. we got some more modern aspects to it? Yeah, I'm, it's, I'm thinking it's, the AMG sign yeah, over there. No, that, that, that was what they did. That's a, that's a, that, no, that is original. That is original, There's is a it? piece right. of rubber behind that, which has got MG on it, and then yeah. you, uh, you, you, you uh, cut the leather back to almost nothing, and then you get the MG impression in it. Oh, that right. is, that okay. is how they, no, how I they were. I didn't realise yeah, that with that. Yeah, no, yeah. it was, yeah. It is modified, um, mm. it, uh, as it would have been in the day for anybody that used it in competition. Right. It's got a pre-select gearbox in it now, which is great fun to use, and it's uh, supercharged as well, so it's it's pretty quick. I was going to say, pretty nippy, though. Yeah, uh, you just have to remember that you've got 1930s brakes on it. Um, yeah. Yeah, there are um, mm. plenty of stopping time then when you're... Exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly You've got to think about it. Yeah. And the, the other problem you get is... People come in and swing in front of you and nick your nick your braking distance, which is can yeah, be a bit of an not, issue. Not great no. if you're a well, a motorway driver. I think yeah. it's pretty probably a bit scary, isn't it? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I haven't actually been on the motorway with it yet. We've got we've got that to to come yet. Yeah. Right, the yeah, dual carriageway driving yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Where people will do that. These it keeps days, up very they? easily with traffic. Um, it doesn't like standing still in traffic. It gets very hot very quickly. Yeah. So it's it, what, what is the sort of performance on it then? We get what sort of. Um, your miles per hour um i don't i've, I've there's no speedo in it because it legally doesn't need one no. uh, it was on the rolling road and uh, it wasn't at maximum rpm and it was clocked at 79 mile an hour really so it's okay. got the capability of, of being so quite fast up to about 80 or so yeah i can't imagine i'll ever be doing anything close to that in it no. but it's got the potential no yeah i would imagine that was a bit unless you're on a track or something that would be exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, I beat much. it up round here around the Oval last year. That was great fun, and, it went, up, and it went up the test hill as well. So All right, OK. So I quite enjoyed that. Doing that quite well. Can we have a quick look on the engine? Yeah, yeah. It's not too hard to get that up. Now, there we go. Look at that. 
So, so it's six cylinder, it's overhead cam, camshaft driven by the dynamo at the front, which is a little bit unusual. Um, this is all the plumbing for the supercharger. The carburetors would normally be there and they're replaced with plumbing and a supercharger at the front. Supercharger right on the front under that bump there. Yeah, that's the pre-select gearbox. It's a huge uh, piece of equipment. Well, it is, it's chunky, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah, but beautiful to drive. The theory goes that in the day people couldn't drive crash gearboxes, so they bought a car with a pre-select gearbox, and right. which is absolutely silent and, you know, you just have to do something dramatic to get it wrong, really, with a pre-select gearbox. It's got a row of spare spark plugs. It eats spark <laughs> plugs. They foul up quite rapidly. Um, if you don't get it right when you start it, you're going to be there a while because you'll have to pull it all out and, and have another yeah. go. So that's why they, that, that came normally. Yeah, that's, that was, um, yes, you got one of them, a, a, a spark plug rack. That's, as a standard thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was yeah. lovely. Well, I hope you enjoy it in the future now. It's, yeah, it's mostly yeah. done. Yeah. I know it probably sends you mad a lot yeah, of the time. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, but it's, it's getting better all the time. So, yeah. Yeah. Just nice lots thing. of polish in there. I can live with that. Right? Yeah. It's highly polished. Yeah, it? Yeah. it really looks lovely. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks, thank you. Thank you.